Neymar Jr. from Brazil. So this is a portrait of him. I'm gonna go as realistic as we can. Right, let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. I just go straight in with the details, start with the eyes. If you want, you can draw you know, some construction like an oval with a line down the middle. Line for the eyes, plenty of tutorials on construction lines online. And you can do that as well. You can just go straight with details if you want. So, center point here, up, over to the right. I'm gonna start with his eyes. His eyes are real thin, right? Because he's like smirking. So, I'm gonna go diagonal, cross, and down, right? Very small. Tear duct here, real thin line coming across. Right, and his tear duct is kind of in here somewhere. Iris, there, and there, and then the pupil, somewhere in the middle. Now he does have eyelashes, so we'll give him sort of thicken up this. Right, so that's what we're kind of dealing with with the shape for the eye, right? Right, so then just under his eye then we'll add just like some dots and dashes for his bottom for his eyelashes coming down here and then he has a top eyelid line which comes across the top of his eye and down the back here okay and he could have like little extra lines around his eyes like so he's got like he's smiling so like, he's got these sort of looking like that so his eyebrow above pretty big so back and he's got like a shaved part here so you could draw in the full thing but we'll, we'll cut out the shaved bit and then finish the eyebrow going down here okay and then there's like another line just here on the inside of his eye right so his other eye pretty much same thing right you're about eye width over we go going across and down, down the back. You can add some eyelashes here as well. Thicken this one up a little bit. Right, and then the bottom line. Across here to his nose. About eye width. And the tear duct is in there. And then iris pupil. So very, we can just see brackets. And then his pupil in the middle coming down from the top eyelash area right and then eyelid line it's always a challenge drawing real people 
comes across the top of his eye here and down the back. And then again, he's got these sort of bags under his eyes. Just drawn lightly, kind of. And his eyebrow. No shaved part on this eyebrow. So just like some hair, maybe. Like so, and then lines in here for his nose, bridge of his nose starting. Oh, and I forgot like little lines just for his bottom eyelashes there. So that's his eyes pretty much, right? Right, so for his nose, right, we can do just sort of one line coming down here. Out towards the tip of his nose then. Right? And then if you want, like, lines coming down the other side, the bridge of his nose here. Just light sort of lines. And then his nostrils. So curve line there curve line there, right? And then you just sort of fill them in to make them look dark, you know, like these sort of raindrop sort of shapes. And then we'll join them together in the middle. And then his nostrils on the outside, just curving around. There, same on this side. It's just like the tip of his nose. All right, it's kind of like that, and that's all we can kind of see for his nose, really. So his mouth, so he's, he's got this smirk, right? So he's got this diagonal, he's a confident dude, right? So he's got this diagonal kind of smirk. So we go kind of like this smile sort of line just on the edge of his mouth here, just underneath his pupil. And it's kind of the same on this side, but it's lower down because you want to join them diagonally just to make it look like he's smiling, right? So we'll go across his lip now. So we go bump it up, down in the middle, back up, down again, out to there, right? So he's got this kind of confidence mark, right? And then his bottom lip, just here. And then the top lip, because he does have fairly defined lips. Just like underneath his nose to the left because he is smirking. So this one's like pulled up a little bit. And then that one goes down like so. Okay. And then, so maybe like a shadow because he has a beard, but there's like sort of a line for his chin here. There's just like shadow underneath his lip. And then his chin is just here. Right, so roughly eyebrows to the nostrils, about the same as nostrils to the sort of center of his chin, right? So this is like a bit longer because he has a beard. So here to here, about the same as here to like the, this part of his chin and you just add a little bit more. So it just goes above his eyebrows. So this maybe like eyebrows to say, just above the top lip, say here to here, would be about the same as here to here. 
Okay, so that's kind of your halfway point in this. And then nostrils to the bottom lip area, about the same, just underneath the bottom lip, here to here, about the same as here to here, right? Then we do his jaw. And this can be a sort of a hairy line if you want it, or it can be smooth, because he does have a beard. Right, just goes up. change direction side of his face right and then we meet sort of a sideburn he's got shaved sides of his head but that is sort of dark gray and then we got we got his beard coming down from sort of here, right? So coming down nearly from the sideburn. We just add the beard coming in there. And then we'll go around his top lip. side might be some lines just coming from his nostrils there as well there you go so right in at the corner of his mouth here around here And he does have a line of it coming around his lip as well. Kind of follows his top lip. Right, so this is what we got so far. That's like his, the bottom half of his face, right? So he could have like some cheekbones and stuff, just some light lines like that. Like, oh, there's lines on his temple of his head as well, like coming around here. Maybe something might come across. Right, and then, so we have ears, so this is where his sideburns is, right? So this is like the side of his head. It's all shaved, right? It's kind of stubbly, so you could do it's kind of a smooth line. And then it gets gradually darker, right? So it kind of goes up. There, right? And like the forehead and the nose are usually about the same size. Right? So here to here will bring you up to sort of where the top of his hair is. And he has sort of like curly sort of hair really coming down this way, right? So you do it like with these curly lines. But so it's not kind of straight or anything. down here and then his ears just in here right so in line kind of with the eyebrow so ear comes around there right and then we'll go and like that right and 
and then lines on the inside of the ear. So you just do this kind of letter J sort of thing to start us off. And then we can add more lines inside if we want. And he has an earring, so I'll draw it in. A silver earring there, or a diamond, should I say? Probably a diamond. Okay. So this is like all shaved and gray in there. And then the rest of his sort of curly hair, right? So it just goes like around. You're just like curling around. And I think it's dyed blonde in 2022 anyway. He changes it a lot, so. Kind of gets gradually lighter as we go down this way. Okay. And then that's all sort of, you know, you have more textures and stuff inside here. Mostly curly. Shapes like this. Right, and then like touching up little details on his face, like you can, you know, some lip lines and stuff. You know, just some. I don't think he has any things like freckles and things like that, but. All right, but I think that'll do for his face. So now we'll go down and just do his neck and we'll do some of the tattoos on his neck as well. So neckline down there. And maybe some textures just on his beard too, just before I move on. to show that it's kind of hairy in here. Right. And then, so collar of his jersey comes around his neck, right? So of his shirt, so it goes like this way, right? And then it's like buttoned across here. So you got a button here. Let's see, you can have like button lines. And then his shoulder, but well, the rest of the collar first, I guess. So collar comes down here. In. This is like green. And then shoulder comes out. So shoulder width is a head, right? So sort of width of his face. That'll bring you out to sort of roughly where the edge of a shoulder. Male shoulders are three heads across. Women are like two and a half. And so width of his face, roughly bring it to there. Width of his face, roughly bring it to there. And then like lines just for his arms like that. And then we got neck muscle. Adam's apple. And he's got these tattoos, and I can't really make them out. So I'll do my best. It's like this detailed calligraphy, right? This kind of stuff. So of course, some people will be able to make this out better than me. Just do my best as always. It's just all these squiggles sort of stuff. And then there's like a letter A there.
right and something in the middle as well this is by B something here And if you want, you could do the Brazilian crest and stuff. Maybe number 10. I'll put the 10 here. Just half of it. Can't see it all. I know the 10 is normally in the middle, but just to sort of... That's kind of like an angle to 10 on the 20, 20 crest. And then maybe the Brazilian crest here. It's normally lower down, but just if, so we can. See some of this. This is optional, of course. Let's see. B, that's CB, CBF? Yeah, CBF. And then stars. I always think of Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. Even my head, arms, and legs. Hey, Nemo. Boom. Thickening up edge lines can help with drawings like this. Okay, not bad. I think that's the best I can do. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.